Ooh, ooh, ooh. ooh. Legitimately, I gave up movies. Oh. River Rats, the weather is not conducive for catching big fish, but we're not smart, so we're gonna try anyway. I got a few tricks up my sleeves and hopefully they pay, play out, but I got Cole and Zach in the boat and we're gonna see what happens. So let's go. We're gonna put out a couple bigger odds, but we're gonna end up fishing the smaller, lighter stuff more on a day like today. Friday, all they wanted was pieces of bait like that. Temperature drop off the tank? I think post front, temp drop. A lot of bad things. We probably shouldn't throw any, like a whole bunch of big baits, but we're gonna throw a couple. You got blues in here too? Mm -hmm. No. Nope. Be a lot cooler if we did. <laughs> yeah. You guys know how to fish a circle hook, right? Yep. Okay. We'll put him on that 10 on. Let them let them bury it though. Can't believe the water's 59 degrees, but it went from 48 to 72 in five days. Yeah, I got sleeted on and snowed on on Monday, and the following Monday, Monday the water was 72. What's up? Oh. That was intense. <laughs> <laughs> I like that a lot. A lot of the world's problems can be solved by a I agree 100%. It's a cold front. We're going to go with itty bitty baits mostly. We got to work one big dog in, but mostly small ones. Got a little nib. That's a on the big rod, no. that's a live bait. You saw the size of the sunfish I threw out on that, right? Yeah. Not a bite, bud. Something got him stirred up, you think? That's why he's moving? Probably moving because he has a hook stuck in his face. <laughs> <laughs> Reality is, we're gonna fish a lot of spots. We're probably fishing for one bite. At least one flathead bite. We might get channel cat taps and stuff, but not too bad. There we got a nibble on the outside one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, flathead hits it and it's just gonna slowly go down. They'll bury it hard like a blue every once in a while, but usually it's just like something floated into the line. How long do you take before you stay in a spot? We have about one more minute. Actually, we would have moved, but I want one more. One more About scoop. Twenty minutes. You stay at the spot, man. I mean, if I get if I get comfortable and lazy and get into a good conversation, I'll stay a little longer. But if I'm if I'm just out to freaking hammer out some fish, ten minutes, fifteen, might not be a bad idea to stay a little bit longer on a day like today, because I know they're there. Since the water's a little cooler. Yeah. Man, that's a good looking bait. I want him to get just blasted. He probably won't, but he 100% won't if we don't fish a big bait. Then again, a big bait's relative. A 50 pounder might look at that and be like, that's like a potato chip, you know? <laughs> Where's the real big one? Right. Where's that five pound carp? Probably my most embarrassing guide story so far is I like staying on that side of the boat and I had a rod and the rod holder right here. I just take a step back and go this way and I hook that rod, rip it out of the holder and launch it into the water. <laughs> I did get it back, luckily. You're looking for them little, oh, that, wait, just, that might be the right one. Or it might be my imagination. Must have just been boat sway. I'm gonna put my sweatshirt on and we're gonna move. My brand new cutting board, no guts on it because my other one flew out. I forgot to stuff it in there <laughs> when I was driving down the road. It was good till I hit about 50 miles an hour and 
That's that's the threshold of your cutting board flying out the door or window. I'm just glad there wasn't anyone behind me. How long have we been at this one? 15 minutes? I'm glad you're the watch guy because I have to be the watch guy. I'm like, well, you know, I just saw that one move. We'll give her another 10. <laughs> let's go. Yeah, let's go. Well, we did have the better takedown so far today. Not great, but better. We're not gonna go very far. That, those big slabs down there, we're gonna fish the very front of them. No matter what, it beats what I would've been doing today. Mowing. And re-watching the program. Maybe, uh, yeah. Yeah. I think we're gonna throw the big head chunk here. Looks juicy. It's where he lives. Does he care though? I don't know. I think it's pretty shallow. Higher, get that thing in your gut. There you go. Yeah, that's a big fish. Yes. Clear this line. No, that was a head. Yeah. That's a big fish, man. I bet you wish you were better at rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> Here. Yep. You ain't gaining no line. Pull on them, like lift. Yeah, reel down. Keep that line tight. Fast, 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 fast. Who he is fast. Yep. Look at that Holy. big old, yeah. <laughs> He's got that big mouth open. That big old head chunk in there. It's a little bit closer, man. You can slide him over to the right, out of that current a little bit. Oh yeah, that's a nice one. <laughs> oh, that makes me feel a lot better. I feel great about it. I bet you do. Yeah, he's a dandy. And when they come out of the rocks, they're like jet black like that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I thought it was on that live bait, but it was on that big head chunk. Oh jeez. Yeah. Was literally we would have moved if those kayakers hadn't been there. <laughs> Pretty fish. Say something cool to the camera, man. Something cool to the camera, man. That's what I'm talking about right there. He's I don't know. I, I I hate to talk about colors of fish, but he's earned it. Like the colors on that are phenomenal. Yeah. Right here. Yes, that is so sweet. I think you need to get that on the boat. Get What's this that? Camo on the boat. Oh, that would be. <laughs> yeah, that'd be sweet. I think you should have put your hat on before you posted the pictures. Right? <laughs> I'm scaring the kids away. All right, anything else to say? Oh, that's all I got. All right. She's heavy. Let her go. See ya. That was fast. Yeah, well cold out they're pretty resilient well, thank you sir absolutely i'm glad you were worried about those kayakers because that never would have happened correct we we're fishing for one bite now we're fishing for one more bite <laughs> no <laughs> he's like one or two he's just excited look at that that could be interesting. It is currently hanging over the top of a limb. Cheering for you. 
We'll give this another couple minutes, then we'll slide down to hit that big tree. Then we'll give that about five, 10, or about 10, 15 minutes, then we're gonna hit that next one down there. Legitimately, I gave up moving. Oh, there it is. Yeah, real, real, real. Keep reeling. Yep, you can take it out of the holder now. There you go. You got junk over there. Oh no. Oh, <laughs> He's a channel cat, I think. We're gonna keep him out of the net to reduce the pain of this tangle. But he's a nice channel. You wanna grab one of those grippers? Yeah, we'll net him now. You gotta pull the orange tongs down. There you go. He plowed it. No pain, no big deal. Oh, do we get him with the hook? I don't think so. No, I don't, that's, it looks like it's healed. Huh. Look at, what has happened here? Been in some stuff. It looks like a hook got him. Is that? Uh, Maybe not ours, but I bet. Is this, I thought I saw like an, yeah, right there, see? Like nope. a hook went in there and come out of his eye. Cause he was hooked here on ours, but yeah, yeah I bet. Yeah. Either somebody flathead fishing or a diddy pole or something like that. I caught one with no eyes once. <laughs> yeah. That's a good channel cat. I don't ever stub my nose at a channel cat like that. Unless he kills my live bait, but he ate cut bait, so he's fine. Yeah. He's going back in the drink. Cat. All right, Falzi. Hang on to that. <laughs> Go get that eye looked at. Yeah. We could. We could go back to a rock, paper, scissors to the side, unless you're feeling no, generous. No, I'll tell you what, yeah. We'll do the rock, paper, scissors. That's fair that it way. Is. It's I gave probably. you a chance to get it. Right. You know, it's really the only way. It's God's will. Yeah. So. <sighs> Tied. All right. It's, it's all, all on this. All or nothing right here. Oh! oh. No, the rock. Every time. You're like Bart uh. Simpson. Good old rock. <laughs> <laughs> rock. So now we know who gets the next bite. That's fair and square. It's, there's, there's no, no way that you're any fairer than that. No. Unless like one of you is a rock, paper, scissors, savant or something like that. No, I'm not a savant of anything. <laughs> well, they do have rock, paper, scissors uh, tournaments. Yes. Is there anything that hasn't been turned into a sport of some sort? <laughs> Like anything that involves a winner and a loser that doesn't have like upper level competition. Yeah, pretty much everything. I mean, even speed walking. At the very beginning of COVID when there was no sports, they had those marble races. Serious? They built these like <laughs> long elaborate tracks in dirt and everything. Yeah. Down a hill and they'd roll it and it'd go for like Five minutes. So is the hours. goal to see like whose would roll the longest or? No, there's a finish line. It was oh, a race. Okay. <laughs> now I've heard it all. It was... Give this another minute or two and then try the thick stuff and then we're going to the rock again. Ooh, 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 ooh. Real, real, real. Yep. He smacked it. He running at you? A big channel? Yep. <laughs> I can't get over how hard he hit that thing. We got it. Well, that was a good way to break up the monotony of complaining about the cubs there's your trophy oh yeah obviously i was hoping it was a flathead but <laughs> yeah. that's not a bad consolation prize you're still shaking like you thought it was a flathead i thought it was too the way i rubbed it went down the here we got some shoulders on the first thwack made me think it might be good call on the loop you're better than me on that. 
push the button? No, pull the orange tong things. There you go. Sweet. You ever five more minutes? You guys cool with that? Yeah. Drop Cole and Zach off, ran up here, and I'm now in front of one of the juiciest brush piles I've seen in a while. What you see on top isn't the beautiful part, it's what's underneath that really counts. It's like kind of philosophical and stuff. No way can you see it, it's crawling up the bank. Is she on the sandbar? I don't know, the sunlight makes it hard to see anything. She's in the timber now. You probably can't see it, anything either. Sorry about that. Tried to capture a cool wildlife moment and failed. Hopefully I can get a cool wildlife moment of 50 pound flathead. Hmm, you'll work. Small, slurpable size, post front. That might be what they want. I'm gonna throw it at them, so we're gonna find out. My favorite are when you throw it at the brush pile and you're messing with your other rods and you don't even have them in the water and the first one gets hit. Doesn't happen all the time, but when it does, it sure is memorable. That's on a tree. It's gonna stay there. Well, nobody wanted any, so we're gonna go down river a little ways. I'm gonna get closer to the ramp, that way I don't have to run as far once it gets dark. That'd be the safe, responsible thing to do. I do that from time to time. I'm to the spot where I'm probably gonna spend the rest of the evening. I'm gonna put the glow stickies on, because I'm running circle hooks. I'm not sleeping out here tonight. These things are slick. Run circles, no clicker, turn the glowies on, then you know you got a bite. I'll link them in the district, in the, I can't talk. I'll link them in the, the description. Well, my camera didn't turn on, but uh, this little tyke ate one. I'm sad that my camera failed me when I needed him most, but he's cute and he fought, fought like a champ. I was actually getting ready to call it a night, and the rod folded over, so I don't know. Maybe I'll give it a little more time. Say cheese, bud. He can't talk, so he's not going to say cheese. See ya. Well, River Rats, it's really cold, so I'm going to go home. Sorry if this video seemed moderately disjointed, but that's kind of the nature of flathead fishing, you know hurry up and wait kind of gig I guess but hope you enjoyed it anyway and if you did hit the like button if you want to see more hit the subscribe button really appreciate you taking time to watch like means a ton for real so thank you sincerely hope you catch a giant well, that's a first never seen a possum swimming in the river before